Hey everyone, my name is Pierce Randall and I'm with Great Plains and we're here with Empire Tractor looking at a 3S 3000 HD. This is a heavy duty min-till drill made by Great Plains based in Salina, Kansas and this is the 30 foot model. We have similar drills in, in 26 which is a two section and then in the three section offering we have 30, 40 and 50 foot models available. From a row unit spacing standpoint we can do six inch what we have behind me is a seven and a half inch drill, and then we can also do 10 inch spacing. These drills come with 15 inch opener blades, and the standard drill comes with a 13 and a half inch opener blade. We also have row unit options like the Keaton seed firmers that you see here. But one of the nicest things about these drills are the way that our subframes work for the row units. We use hydraulic down pressure as opposed to some of the other competitive units out there, and we have two down pressure cylinders for each subframe. What that allows us to do is to control the pressure on those subframes and adjust it for varying conditions. When you're in softer, looser ground, we can back that off and vice versa. When we get into tighter, more no-till ground, we can up that pressure. Um, that's all adjustable from the tractor cab. We adjust the flow and then we've got two valves on the drill itself to regulate that pressure. And those cylinders allow us to control the pressure on both sides of the subframes so that we can cover undulating ground really well. Um, all of our drills come with the walk boards and the steps that you see here. And then we hold about 3.2 bushels per foot in terms of capacity. All of our lids are shock assisted, so they're really easy to, to load on the go, even if you're out there in the field by yourself. So come on in today and check these drills out. We have them at most of the Empire Tractor locations. And we'll be happy to take a look at what you have and get you into the better shade of green. All right, so I'm Pierce and I'm with Great Plains and we're here with a 3S 3000 HD today. And what we want to take a look at now is the row unit. We have two different row units available for these drills. We have a standard drill, which has a black row unit, and then we have an HD drill, which has the green row unit that you see here. The difference is on the weight per blade, the HD drills, we put a little bit more weight into the frames. And then we also have the larger opener blades. The standard row units have a 13 and a half inch diameter blade. The HD drills like you see here actually have a 15 inch opener blade. We also have a blade offset. So we have a leading edge um, on both drills. On the, on the min till or the standard drill, uh, it has a quarter inch leading edge. And on the HD drill, like you see here, we actually have a half inch leading edge. Now that's really important because that leading edge gives us the ability to size residue even without coulters. So when we do get into no-till conditions, maintaining this leading edge really allows us to cut through that heavy residue and get that seed in the ground. Um, other options that we have here, we're going to take a look at popping this blade right off. And behind this blade is really the heart of the row unit. Um, the most important thing that we want to talk about here is this full length seed tube. Uh, a lot of the other competitor drills, this seed tube actually stops at the nut bar and it's a free fall drop into the bottom of the trench. And that's going to impact if your seed's not all at the same depth, that'll impact your emergence and your yield at the end of the year. So having a full length seed tube and then even a little rubber flap to help keep that seed tap down in the bottom of the trench gives us what I would say the, the most consistent depth control in the industry. Other things to talk about is we have a cast blade separator here that helps in really hard no-till conditions. Uh, and for lighter ground, we can actually remove this blade separator, and then we have a scraper that'll mount up top. And that, in really light, loose, loose fluffy uh, conditions, will help keep that, that lighter ground out of the blades. Um, also, as you see here, we have a Keaton seed firmer. This is one of the options we have in certain crops, especially like soybeans and whatnot. There's a great return on investment in making sure that all of those seeds get pressed into the ground evenly. And we have that seed to soil contact to once again improve emergence coming out of the field. Um, other things to talk about is our depth control for this row unit. So we have a T-handle depth adjust here. That adjusts how far this, this press wheel can travel up. As this press wheel travels up further, it allows the row unit openers to actually run deeper and plant the seed deeper. We also have a couple different options in terms of press wheels here. This is a three inch by 13 inch diameter press wheel. We also have two inch, uh, di or two inch by 13 inch diameter wheels available. And then we even have V press wheels and some cast press wheels for different conditions as well. 
So this has just been a good overview of the Great Plains, the double O or the double O HD style row unit. Uh, and it's gonna be found on most all of our min-till uh, drills in the industry today. Once again, come on into Empire Tractor Company and take a look at what All right, I'm Pierce with Great Plains and today we're gonna to take a look at the double O and double O HD row unit that we use on Great Plains min-till drills. Uh, some things to take a look at, we've got two different row units. Like I said, we have a double O and a double O heavy duty or double O HD. The double O is going to have a black frame and the double O HD is going to have the green frame like you see here. Other differences are the down pressure springs here. The HD spring has about 20 to 30 percent more down pressure than a standard spring does. But probably one of the most important things to talk about are the actual opener blades and the difference between the two. The standard double O row unit has a 13 and a half inch opener blade and the HD like we have behind me has actually a 15 inch opener blade. Both of those units have a leading edge which is going to be really nice. It's going to help us cut residue and get into really hard uh, tighter ground, help penetrate into that. So the standard drill is going to have a quarter inch leading edge and the HD drill like you see here has actually a half inch leading edge. Um, we also have a 205 uh, sealed bearing here. Some of the heaviest blade bearings in the industry. It's completely sealed, no maintenance to worry about. Um, what we're gonna do is pop this blade right off and take a look at what's kind of going on internal. So here we have kind of the, the heart of the road unit. We have our nut bar. We actually have a, a cast blade separator. We have a full length seed tube and then we have the Keaton. Now a few things to, to kind of take note on here. Uh, this cast blade separator is used in really hard no-till conditions to help give us a little bit longer life for the blades and penetrate into that tough ground. Now for guys that are in lighter, looser, uh, maybe sandier or fluffier conditions, we can actually remove this blade separator and put in a, a blade scraper up above which helps clear um, any of that looser debris out of the row unit um, and getting in between the, the blades themselves. Probably the most important thing to talk about with this row unit and a, a main advantage that Great Plains has with our drills is that we use a full length seed tube. A lot of the other competition, their seed tube actually stops here at the nut bar and then it's a free fall drop to the bottom of the trench. At Great Plains, we wanna make sure that we guide that seed all the way to the very bottom of the furrow. And we even have a little seed flap there to, to make sure we don't get any seed bounce. Um, having consistent seed placement in the bottom of that furrow is going to give us much better and much more even emergence across the field, which as you know is going to result in bushels in the bin at the end of the year. Um, so this is really where it all starts. We want to make sure that we give every seed its best shot and making sure that every seed gets to the bottom of the trench with this seed tube is a huge advantage that we have. Another thing to talk about here is we have a Keaton seed firmer. This is another uh, option that, that some producers will go with, uh, especially for producers that are heavier on some soybeans and, and different more expensive crops to put in, alfalfa, per knot, whatnot. Um, but the advantage here is that this Keaton seed firmer is just going to run over that seed and help firm that up. Once again, reaffirming that we do have consistent placement of that seed in the bottom of the furrow and also making sure that we have really good seed to soil contact because just like seed depth, seed to soil contact is going to be what kicks that seed off and when that all kicks off at the same time it leads to much better emergence and much better yields at the end of the day. Another thing to talk about is the depth control for these row units. We use a T-handle depth adjustment on the back of the row unit and what this does based on the position of this T-handle allows this press wheel to travel up further or less. The further that the press wheel can travel up, which is going to be riding on the ground, that means that our row unit itself and our blades are going to be able to penetrate deeper and get us deep, deeper seed depth. We do have some different attachments as well in terms of press wheels. We have a, what we have here is a three by 13 or a three inch by 13 inch diameter press wheel. It does have a rib on it. Um, we also have a two inch by 13 press wheel available. And new to this year, we even have a, a four by 13 double V press wheel. Uh, which is once again, they, depending on soil conditions, could, could really help with that seed to soil uh, contact and help make sure that we get a good uh, press on the sidewalls of that, that seed trench. So, like we said, this is the double O HD row unit. We also have a double O standard row unit, which is very similar. They both have the full length seed tube. 
Uh, the difference is just the size of the blades and, and the weight per blade. Um, but both of these row units are really designed to give you your best shot in the field. With that leading edge, we're going to be able to penetrate into the heavier conditions and even do some light no-till work. Um, and it's all about making sure that, you know, at the end of the day, we put bushels in the bins and we get that crop up and establish and give you your best shot to have a productive year. So once again, thanks for considering Great Plains. Come on in to Empire Tractor. Most of the locations will have these drills in stock and we'll be more than happy to talk with you today about what options we have that fit your production system. Empire Tractor.